Hey there, hope you're doing well. Uh, in this video, let's talk about uh, UX uh, design um, and you know how that works. How, I mean, what aspect of the design is sort of cross compatible? I'm using the word compatible loosely here between your web apps and your mobile apps. Uh, let me give you some context, right? So our product uh, has multiple clients. We have a web app, uh, we have a native mobile app, we have a mobile web app, uh, and you know uh, we have and again within mobile we have an iOS app and an Android app. Uh, but those are reasonably similar. There are some differences between those two, but they are quite similar for the most part. So you can take us as having three almost distinct clients, right? Web, mobile web, and native mobile. Uh, we are generally more focused on native mobile and the web. Then mobile web is simply for users to sort of get a feel for what the product offers. Uh, but that's not necessarily our first priority, just because, you know, uh, in the market, folks are either downloading your app or using it on the web. The mobile web is only if you did not have a native mobile version, right? So yeah, we do have it, but that's not, uh, you know, that's not, uh, it's our third priority in general, right? So it's mobile, native mobile and the web applications. So when we do, when we build a new feature, whether it's, uh, whether it's an enhancement to an existing uh, set of services or a brand new service, uh, we do this design and we do it as quickly as we can uh, with a couple of objectives, right? One is it needs to be uh, easy for the user to understand and use. That's priority number one. Uh, and then it needs to be reasonably all right. Uh, I don't know if I can say easy, but quick enough for us to be able to implement it, right? So there's a balance and we figure out when we spend more time on one versus the other and so on and so forth. Uh, but the purpose of, uh, I mean, to get to the crux of this, the essence of this video, you know, what I want uh, you, if you're watching this, to understand is sometimes, you know, as, as a smaller company, you want to build a design uh, and you've thought through that, you have you have an idea how it works and implement it on the web and you want to be able to port those changes over to native mobile. And now what would be ideal, right? What would be ideal is you take the changes pretty much as they are and then you just re-implement them on your native mobile. Uh, and sometimes you implement a subset of the services, like you go to all of the web apps, uh, they do a hundred things on your, uh, you know, if you go through the browser, the web browser, uh, but then when you go to your uh, mobile apps, they do a subset of those. Um, and there are, there are others where they are mobile first, they probably uh, either do not just a subset, but do things differently on mobile, uh, or it could be a combination of these two things, uh, much like us. But the point is, uh, it's almost impossible to take your web design and port it over to mobile. You can't just shrink it, make it responsive. You can do it to some extent for your mobile web HTML5 applications. Uh, even there, if you just took what you have on the web and you tried to sort of uh, fit it uh, into your mobile web client, it is not going to work very well. It just it, it, more often than not, it's going to not help the user experience. It might make your life as a developer or an architect a tiny bit, a tad easier, uh, but that doesn't necessarily translate to user experience, right? Uh, but you can sort of make do with what you have and uh, retrofit, for lack of a better word, uh, into your mobile uh, web apps. But when you go to native mobile, native mobile, trust me, you, you're going to have to redesign it. Uh, just because it, it's, you know, it's not just the fact that it's, uh, it's very different that we understand, uh, but you know, there is a big difference between using something on your device, going to Safari, or if you're an Android user, going to Chrome or something, and then using a, a more a responsive app versus actually downloading an app from the App Store or Play Store. The user expectation, even implicitly, is very different, right? How the touch behaves and how you're navigating and maneuvering through your pages. Uh, what you present, the size of buttons and actions, everything has to be very different. Um, so when we started building our native mobile app, uh, uh, what sometime uh, in the middle of this year, uh, we were hoping to be able to repurpose some of what we had, at least in terms of design. Uh, but then very soon, in a week or so, we realized that that was not going to be passed. I mean, it is possible, but it's not. Uh, you know, it's, it's not useful, meaning it's not going to help the user experience at all. So we realized then we have to pretty much redesign and implement the mobile app as though we did not have a web app to begin with. And that's what we've done and it's worked quite well. If you look at the mobile app and compare it to our web, plat sorry, uh, web platform, you'll see that they, are, they offer uh, a similar set of functionality, even though the web is still it's got some more, it's got fancier chats and all that kind of stuff, but it's got similar functionality. But how you approach and access that functionality 
is quite different uh, between these two clients. So I was designing something just uh, before I did this video and I want to take what we had on the web and not so much mimic the design, be influenced by it so I didn't have to sort of rethink the whole thing from scratch. Uh, but that was not to be the case either, right? So I'm just trying to, uh, we try to implement a new feature. One we have on the web already, but we don't yet have it in entirety on mobile. We have it on mobile, but not the whole nine yards. So I'm trying to add those, uh, you know, fill the gaps and add those features. Uh, and then I realized realize one more time that the entire design is actually very different. Um, so one of our concerns initially was, hey, if the user is using it, when the user is using, when the user is using it on the web and your mobile apps, they need to uh, be able to draw a parallel and s feel that it's the same product. Um, so how can we make it look similar? Uh, but then, you know, that's actually not, um, not really a valid concern because when you're using it on mobile, like I use different products on the web and mobile as well. I don't have any expectation as to the, the, how the pages or the screen should look or whether they should look similar to the web. As long as they are friendly enough from a user experience standpoint and the UI is cool and, and nice and current and whatnot, I'm happy. Uh, it doesn't bother me that I, sometimes you don't even remember how it may have looked on the web because there's so many actions and so many buttons. Um, so it, it doesn't matter. So make sure when you build these clients, you build them so it works best in the context of these the, that client uh, itself uh, and not be very bogged down or not, or not be bogged down at all uh, by any inc inconsistencies in the user experience between these clients because they are going to be uh, uh, different. Inconsistent is not the right word. I think it's, it's even if you did use the word, it's actually a, there's a, there should be a positive connotation to, inc to inconsistency, at least in this context. So tomorrow when we end up building an iPad app, right, that day is not too far for us. Uh, that experience is going to be quite different as well. So we're not going to be worried about how our app uh, uh, behaves or what the user experiences on the web versus native mobile. When we go to building an iPad app, we're going to think about how best to do it on a device that's uh, of that size. Now, there are various sizes of iPads and tablets. Um, that's uh, you know, that warrants a completely different discussion whether you have to treat them differently. But I think you should treat mobile versus uh, tablets and the web uh, different from each other and do justice to each of those those platforms. Hopefully this helps. Thank you.